Hello everyone, welcome back to my NASDAQ channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the、uh, Cloudflare email. Basically, we're gonna use in Cloudflare email routing function to create our own unlimited email boxes, and then we can use those email box to send and receive emails. Previously, we have created. Quite a bunch of videos talk about the Cloudflare's free services such as domain management, WAF for your website, Zero Trust for your VPN access, Workers and Pages for your free website applications, and storage for your image hosting. We also create quite a few proxy website. You will be able to search my channel. Using Cloudflare keyword to find out all those projects, and you should be able to follow the guide in these videos and create your own web applications. Most interesting part: it's a free and safe and super fast because of Cloudflare has their own CDN network. In this video, we're gonna be more focused on to using Cloudflare to create our Own email box and use it to receive and send emails out. It's very simple to do, and you will get unlimited email box for yourself on your domain. Now, let's jump into it. Of course, you need to have your own domain and also Cloudflare account. Both are free. I have video to show you how to get eu.org free domains, and also has another video show you how to add it into Cloudflare. It's very simple to do. Strongly suggest you to follow the guide on those two videos and then add them in. So I'm gonna use in bestit.eu.org this free domain as an example to show you the process how you can create your Own email address and then receive and send emails from that email address. Assuming you already have your own domain and you already create your own free Cloudflare account and your own domain has been added into Cloudflare, now you can click your domain. I'm using bestit.eu.org as an example here. Click on email routing. You should be able to get this page. I haven't enabled email routing yet. To start with it, click on get started. Now you need to custom your email address. For me, I'm gonna put the NASDAQ here as an example. Now you need to send. To an email, so basically, Cloudflare email routing function is just route your email address to somewhere else which you already have access. Cloudflare doesn't store any of your emails. You have to have third-party email address and the email service for you to receive those email. I'm using Gmail as an example here to show you how to receive. All of your forwarded emails from your email routing configured in Cloudflare, and also use Gmail to send out email with the email address you customized here. So in this way, we're gonna put this as our destination. Create and continue. So we create first destination. Address and customize the email. We do need to verify that. Right away, you should be able to receive this Cloudflare send out email to verify your email routing address. Click on email address button to verify. Verify you are human. Sometimes they prompt that your email address is now verified. We can go to email routing. You should be able to see. Your email routing configuration. 
You can click on get started, skip getting started. It does require you to add DNS record into it, MX record and TXT record. So let's add those record in and enable. Perfect. So those DNS record has been added. At the same time, you should be able to see those added email and TXT record here. MX record, three of them, and one TST record. I'm gonna send it out from my Outlook using a completely different email address from my own 51sec.org domain. So now we are using the Outlook client and from a different domain, not the same Gmail domain. Let's send it out. Let's go back email routing. Refresh it. Okay, now number from one became two. Let's refresh here. Let's look at span. Not span. Yes, we did receive it, but it put into our spam mail. So that is how you're gonna receive your emails. You can just using Cloudflare email routing function to forward all emails to your another email account, which you have access, which you can store all your email there, such as Gmail. Since we can receive our emails, you can create the email routing rules as much as you want. You also can create a catch all rule. That means any emails to your domain, doesn't matter what kind of uh, email box it is, you can forward it to your email address, like your Gmail dot com email address here so you enable this catch all that means any email address you want to send it will be sent to there so that another important settings for you to capture all the emails for your own domain this is the necessary steps for you if you don't want to create too many email box one by one Now we need to send out email from this email address, nasdaq at bestit.eu.org, which we just created in Cloudflare. So if we do reply, unfortunately, we're going to use an original Gmail account to send it out. To send out using your own email address configured in your Cloudflare, you need to go to configuration. See all settings, account and import, add another email address here, send mail as. So add another email address, we call it NASDAQ, so we know what it is. So the email address, same here. Let's go to next step. So we're going to use Gmail. SMTP server to do that. We're not gonna use in Cloudflare even. They found it. Our MS record SMTP server is supposed to be this one, but uh, we're gonna use our Gmail to send it out since Cloudflare doesn't support you use their email server to send out email. So let's put smtp.gmail.com and the username. That will be our username. If you want sec door, that's our Gmail account, which is receiving the emails. And also we wanted to reply emails or send out emails using this email address. So that's the one we are using. And the password here is a tricky part. It's not traditional your 51sec.gmail.com's password. It's going to be your app password. 
you cannot come into security.google.com slash settings slash security slash app password. You can see the link here. You can use in that. Of course, you need to verify yourself. Let's verify ourselves first. So then they will tell you app password. You need the app pass. What's your app name? Let's put cloud free email. Create. So this is gonna be our app password for our device. So we're gonna copy that out. It's not recommended to do because it's less secure, but for our purpose, it should be safe enough for us to just for sending the emails. Now we got the password. We come back here and the paste password in here. Click add account. So successfully we add that account in and it says verify. Close this window. Let's go back to inbox. In the span. Not span. Let's verify for that. Now Gmail user may now send the email as nasdaq at bestit.eu. We can close this confirmation page. We can go back our settings, account and import. See, now it's verified. The one more thing we can do, we can make it default. Send the email as make it default. So now, whenever I receive the email, so this is test email. So now we can, now we can go back here to reply with it. Let's reply. So reply. Now we can choose nasdaq at bestit.eu.org to send it out. It's from this email address. Let's do test, reply. We can see, send it from here. Also, we can compose a new email. You can see by default, it's already from NASDAQ at bestit. That's how easy you can create your own unlimited email address and then you can receive and send out emails your own customized email box. So now we can receive and send out email. So this is when you send out from your Gmail, then we will get the email like this. You, the email address is the right one, but the, we have via gmail.com to show where you send it. So basically, this is from gmail.com. So we will get some kind of this annoying message. We can verify this email came from the sender. So it might be not safe to respond to it. It might not be able to avoid this kind of warning because we did use in Gmail to send out the emails from our own domain bestit.eu.org. But there's one thing we can do to reduce this kind of spam message showing on our emails. So when we look at our DNS record here, we see this SPF record. We should be able to add google.com's SPF record in as well. So in that way, we also write our domain can use Gmail send an email for us. So that should reduce the chance for any other email service provider to mark our email as a spam. So just make sure you did that when you're sending out the emails from gmail.com. I believe that is everything. Hopefully you like this video. If you do, give me a thumb up and also subscribe my channel if you haven't. See you in my next one. Thank you.